Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. I am really excited to share this video with you today. It has been a long time coming for this and there have been a lot of moving parts. A lot of people have contributed to this video, especially one special person that I'll be talking about very soon, but we put a lot of work into this. I really hope that you enjoy the content that I put together and let me know what you think in the comments down below. So today's video is all about pushing myself outside of my comfort zone and exploring fashion. So fashion is a fun thing that I've always been interested in, but it's always very intimidating for me as well. And I really wanted to do this right. So I was able to hire a celebrity stylist who also happens to be one of my best friends and she was amazing throughout this whole process. Shout out to her. I will link all of her information down below. Her name is Maricel. I have known her since I was in fifth grade, so I think that's 10 years old. And we have been friends ever since. She is a successful stylist now. She also has a company called the Mari Mari Store where she repurposes items that would typically be considered trash, but she creates new products out of them. She's currently making bags out of Philippine mango packaging, which is amazing. I don't even know how she's doing it. Maricel has styled people and assisted in styling people such as Trey Songs, Miles Parrish, Big Sean, SZA, Super Duper Kyle, Noah Cyrus, GQ Canada, Pilo, Jess Connolly. She now styles for Nike and Nordstrom. She is doing amazing things and shout out to her for taking the time to do this video and helping me create this for you. Before I continue talking for a thousand years, let's get into the video. All right, so I'm trying on my first outfit right now and it is a little big on me, but I still want to continue on with this video. Let me pull this up. I still want to continue on with this video and um, wear this. So I'm going to eventually get this tailored because I really like it. So this is a two-piece set and like as you can see, this is coming off me. This is a swimsuit by the way. And this is a little big on me as well. I tucked it into my bra and I tucked it into my bathing suit bottom so it fits. Also, this is going to be in the video. Um, I got a bug bite and we got this, it's literally called the bug bite thing, where apparently you put it on your bite and then you pull up and suction and apparently it like sucks out whatever the bug puts in you that irritates you and um, it makes you less itchy. And I haven't been itchy, so I guess it did work, but it left this big ass thing on my arm, so um, just to clarify. All right, I'll walk you through the first outfit here. So first we have this bandana that she actually got from Depop. And funny story, when um, I got it in the mail, we didn't realize how big it was going to be. And it was more so a scarf or even like a small tablecloth than a bandana. So what I did was I cut it to be the size of a regular bandana. And I'm going to eventually get it tailored um, to be sewn shut so it doesn't fray. But for now, it's working and uh, I think it's really cute. These earrings are a personal piece of mine from a shop in Seattle. They're actually handmade and they're really pretty. I'll link them down below. Next, I have this necklace from a company called Jody, and all of her stuff is sustainably made and her pieces have recycled materials. And I just love the simplicity of the necklace. I'll definitely be able to wear this again. The outfit itself is from a company called eye to eye and what I love is their whole brand mission is to make pieces to outlive trends, pieces that can be timeless and that can be worn from season to season for years to come and it's more sustainable in that way so I really love what they're doing. And then lastly, these shoes are from Converse. They are their chunky platforms. I don't remember the exact name of them but I'll have them down below. All right, for the second day, I loved my outfit. I actually wore it to the beach. I wore the top as a bikini top, and then I had the skirt on top of that, on top of my bottoms, and it was definitely an outfit I felt confident in. It was something that I wouldn't normally wear, but I love that I could whip this out during the summer, and it's like a really simple piece, but it, I feel really done up in it. What I do want to share is the top is unlined, so I actually added in these little bra liners from my bathing suit, and it really helped. I don't really like not wearing a bra. Um, I know some people are fine with it, but not me personally, so I just wanted to share that. So the glasses of this outfit are from a thrift shop called Left Bank in Los Angeles. Moving to the earrings, these are actually a personal piece of mine. I got them in Bar Harbor, Maine at a random 
gift shop when we were walking around there. For the necklaces, I have the Jody necklace again from yesterday, and then this is just a necklace I had from Target. This outfit is from a company called Foundationals, and what I love is that it's made out of sustainable materials, and they partner with socially compliant factories to make all of their products as well, so I'll have the info below. And the shoes are the vegan Blair sandals from Doc Martens. I feel like these are very hit or miss. Some people love them, some people hate them. I personally love them. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Day three definitely pushed me outside of my comfort zone and I know this looks pretty basic but I'm just not used to wearing this much color and just so many bold pieces in my opinion. First up we have these glasses from a company called Eco and they were cat eye shaped. I don't think I've ever had cat eye shaped glasses but I really was digging them. This tank top is actually a sustainably made piece from a company called Nation Limited and it's definitely outside of my comfort zone when it comes to color. I used to be very anti-pink but I don't know after putting this on I felt a lot more confident and I'll definitely be wearing more pink in the future. These jeans are from a thrift store. I just cut the bottom so they had that frayed edge and yeah, nothing much to say about them. I just really love them. You've probably seen them on me before. And lastly, these boots are from Lulu's. They have a whole vegan section on their website, which is always appreciated. And they have so many cute vegan boots if you're in the market for some new shoes. Day four's outfit, I was absolutely obsessed from head to toe. I'm excited to show you this. I think this was my favorite outfit out of all the days. So first, these earrings are from Yam. They are handmade, made with upcycled materials and made with a vintage feel. They were super high quality and I just, I'm obsessed with these. I think they're so pretty. Next, all the clothing pieces were from Whimsy and Row, and it's a sustainable company. And what I love is the pieces are really high quality and they fit me so well. I'm on the petite side and sometimes things are too big for me, too long, awkwardly sized, but this was perfect. And lastly, these shoes are from a vegan shoe company called BC Footwear. So this day's outfit I think was most in line with my personal style. These were pieces that I would put together myself, minus the headband, we'll talk about that later. But I felt really confident in this, and especially color-wise, I always love me some dark colors. So yeah, this outfit was an A plus for me. So the headband honestly threw me off in the beginning. This is a headband from Depop, and I just, I wasn't vibing with it at first, but then I realized this outfit really needed a statement piece to bring it to the next level. At the end of the day, I realized how much I loved it and I'll definitely be wearing it again. Next, I have this tank from Mode, and it looks like a simple black tank, but what I love is it has these corset looking lines on it that lines my, my boob area. I also don't have to wear a bra with it, which is always appreciated. Moving on to the denim. These are jeans that I've had for a while. These are just from Topshop. I love me a good mom jean. And then these shoes. I've been actually looking for some white vegan sneakers, and Marcel found these from a company called Bangs, and they're really cozy. I can definitely wear these with a lot of different outfits, and and uh, I'm digging them. All right, today's outfit. We were planning on doing a picnic on this little the lawn right behind us. We brought a blanket, we brought a basket, and I sat down and I just feel like on my butt. Can you feel my butt? It's all wet and brown and I'm wearing all white, so. Uh, we just found a little bench here and we're gonna sit here. Yeah. It's so nice, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> the next day's outfit was quite the opposite when it comes to color. It was all white with this um, beige hat. And I really love the hat, this is actually from Target. The tank is from Mode, which I've mentioned so many times in this video. The bottoms are actually from Poshmark, they are Everlane pants. And the shoes are the same ones that I wore yesterday from Bangs. All of the jewelry are just pieces I already had. The earrings are what I mentioned earlier from Bar Harbor, and then I have just a bunch of thrifted pieces and pieces from my grandma. And lastly, the sunglasses are also from the brand Eco that I mentioned earlier in the video. I'm all 
So this day we weren't able to get as many clips as I wanted but regardless let's go over the outfit. So first we have these earrings from Yam that I wore the other day and then the rings are pieces again that I already had a bunch from my grandma. And moving on to the outfit itself, the tank is again from Mode. I've worn a lot of their stuff throughout the week and I love I love their stuff. I would highly recommend it. The pants are the Topshop pants that I wore the other day and the shoes, I also wore these the other day. These are from Doc Martens. And this outfit was also very in line with my personal style. I definitely would wear something like this typically and I felt really confident in it. And I also really love the hairdo. Marcel asked me to do my hair like this and it was new to me, but I am digging it and I've worn my hair like this so many times since. For this day's outfit, I actually was styled in a dress and I am not a big dress person. I never really feel confident in it because honestly, I'm a little self-conscious about my legs, but um, I'm really happy that she put me in this because it really pushed me outside of my comfort zone on so many levels. This dress is from Whimsy and Row, which I mentioned in another outfit. Their clothing fits me so well, I'll definitely be purchasing more items from them. Next we have this bandana, which it's just like the other one, I had to cut it myself. It's from Depop and it turned out awesome. These earrings are from an eco-conscious company called Machete in Atlanta and I actually found these at a small store in Seattle. They're really cute, I love them, they're really comfortable and they're really light. This bucket purse is thrifted. It's a Target piece, I believe, and I found it at my local Goodwill. I have my white high top Converse that I've had for quite a while now, and I don't wear them that often, so it was good to finally put these to some use. And then lastly, the gold jewelry are just pieces I had. So this is a J necklace I got as a gift, and this bracelet, I honestly don't remember where it's from, but I think it was a gift as well. Yeah. The last outfit was a running errands type of outfit, super chill and really comfy. So the tank is from a sustainable company called Mate the Label. Jeans are also from a sustainable company called Boyish Jeans, super cozy and I love the kind of old school vibes they give me. Next we have my old Vans that I've had since probably like eighth grade and then these same glasses from Eco that I wore earlier in the week. And lastly, I'm doing a similar hairstyle that I did yesterday, but with half down and I'm loving it. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please let me know in the comments down below. I would definitely love to do another one if it's something that you're interested in. And um, shout out again to Maricel for all the time that she took to help me with this video and make it um, as successful as it was, or at least I think it was successful. I'm really happy with how everything came together. I appreciate you being here and I hope you have a great day wherever you are. Bye.